Hello Virgo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a general message for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last two weeks in February 2020. It'll be a general message, so it could be love, work, finances, it's whatever spirit wants to share. And it won't resonate with everyone because there's, um, you know, that's how it works. So check out your other uh, placements for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. Okay, what messages do you have for my Virgo's spirit for the last two weeks of February 2020? I've combined two oracle decks for today's reading, the Enchanted Map Oracles and the Energy Oracle cards. So I'm going to pull some cards from there and then I'll clarify with the tarot. What messages do you have for my Virgos? Thank you so much to everyone who has commented, shared, subscribed. I really appreciate it and I read all of your comments. So thank you so much. Let's see what we have for my Virgos. Time is fluid, so this could have already happened, be currently happening, or can happen in the future. So just keep that in mind. Messages we have for my Virgos. Okay, I have way too many, so I'm gonna just take the bottom one. Dry desert. Okay, so this is all about something not growing. Um, almost like not getting the fruits of your labor like something's just not happening here with the dry desert any other messages for my virgos the thinking woman interesting some of you are thinking about how to make this happen if you're walking through a dry desert right now or a situation that's not growing not moving forward it's like you're putting on your thinking cap here to try to see the best way to go about it okay any other messages for my Virgos, please? Thank you. All right, here we have intention. Interesting. So a lot of you are thinking about what your end game is here. Bottom of the deck, I have stuck in the mud. So a lot of you um, might be in a situation where it's not going the way that you expected. And now you're thinking about how to make this happen. Now these are general readings and I've been just waiting to see what messages come out. A lot of them end up being love, but we'll see. Messages for my Virgos, please, Spirit. Last two weeks of February 2020. What do my Virgos need to know? Last two weeks of February 2020, please. What messages do you have for my Virgos? Okay. Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Sun. Someone had almost this exact, well, not the same order, but the same three cards at the very top. So this could be new love, new abundance here, something that makes you very happy. But some of you are still worried, probably because it's not happening as quickly as you expected it to, or it's not playing out like you thought. Let's see what else we have for my Virgos. Thank you. The moon, okay, could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. It could just be fear, doubt, the unknown. We'll clarify all of these. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, beautiful energy. We got two aces here and the sun. So this is all about new, new beginnings. I have the Eight of Wands in the deck. I feel like some of you are thinking um, how to with the two of wands, whether to stay or go. That's what I'm getting here. So let's clarify these and see what these are all about. Tell me about the ace, whoa, I haven't even. Tell me about the ace of cups, please, for Virgos. Tell me about the ace of cups. With the two aces, I'm really getting a new way of doing things, and I feel like that's necessary if this dry desert is a thing. It's like you can't keep going the same you can't keep wandering around is basically what I'm getting at whether when there's nothing there. I have the Hermit and Queen of Swords here with Ace of Cups. Some of you could be single or have been single for a long time because this there's you, Virgo. Um, I feel like a lot of you, it's been, you've been protecting your heart. Um, you've been trying to figure out the best way to heal uh retreat and work on yourself i feel like 
this Ace of Cups is coming to you at the right time. You might be um, feeling like maybe love is not happening for you, but I think it is with this Ace of Cups here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Tell me about, oh, tell me about the Nine of Swords, please, for my Virgos. I love when you guys show up in your own readings. I feel like a lot of you have healed or are currently healing from a situation. Whoa. Okay, we got the Emperor here with Three of Wands. Could be sign of um, Aries here with Emperor. But I feel like you guys are just coming into your power, waiting for the right time. But also worried that it's not going to work out, is what I'm seeing here. Uh, with the Nine of Swords and the Thinking Woman, I feel like you guys have maybe thought about this a little too much. What to do, how to go about a situation. Um, but the, the Emperor, he's a decider. He makes things happen. He's powerful. He's connected. He does what he, he does what needs to be done. He makes the, de the decisions that need to be made. Tell me about the sun. I feel like this happiness is, is coming your way. And with the moon here, I, I don't know. I feel like you've just had doubt and confusion. And those doubts are going to be put to rest. Um, but again, I feel like in order for that to happen... You have to get out of this dry desert mentality up here. Three of Cups. Could be a reunion of some sort that makes you very happy. Just your friend group, work group, family group. Could be an engagement or a celebration of some sort that makes you very happy. Queen of Cups. Yeah, some of you are in love or just very emotional or in tune with your emotions right now with the moon and the Queen of Cups up there. Knight of Cups. Beautiful. Someone could be bringing you this cup and it makes you very happy could be a water sign. I see a lot of water on the spread right now. Tell me about the moon. Sign of Pisces. Tell me about the moon. This is all about what's unknown. I feel like a lot of you don't know if you should get out of this dry desert mentality up here. You're deciding whether to stay or go, whether to fight or give up here. Which direction to go in. Eight of Cups, yeah. Some of you are thinking about walking away from a situation that no longer serves you, but you don't know if you should do this. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. This is all about a new spark, a new beginning, a new creative venture. King of Cups, yeah. There's going to be a new beginning with possibly a water sign or just... Someone who's very loving. I have King of Cups and Queen of Cups here. This is a great partnership. Someone that's in tune with their emotions, balanced, mature. Tell me more about this King of Cups, please. Judgment. Yeah, this is this is meant to happen. Ten of Pentacles under the deck. This is a divine union here. I feel like someone has had an epiphany or some sort of awakening um, or it's just kar karmatic justice. Like, you know, things are happening as they should. Tell me about the two of wands. I feel like someone has probably had an epiphany of some sort. And that's why they're walking away from a situation or walking towards their nine of cups here. Tell me about the Two of Wands. I feel like all of this can is going to lead you to this Two of Wands, this decision. It's like now you know what you, you've been presented with the information that you needed. Thank you. Four of Cuts. Okay, some of you are afraid to miss out on an opportunity. Some of you could just not know which way to go. Some of you might even not realize this cup is right in front of you. Oh my gosh, my cards are going crazy. I feel like it's very important to have this awakening, this epiphany, um, to really look at things clearly. Really focus on your intention. What do you want for your life? What do you want your life to look like, your, your love life to look like? Anything like that. Tell me more about this Four of Cups and Two of Wands. I feel like Spirit is saying, don't miss out on this opportunity. 
Don't, don't, don't wander around a dry desert when there's nothing there for you is what I'm getting very strongly here. Thank you. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups. So some of you, okay, this could be two different two ways. Some of you, I feel like, are not going to accept this offer and just going to be single. Others of you don't want to be single. Don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Some of you want love. Want stability. I feel like it's coming your way. You just have to accept it. You have to recognize it. And you have to let go of what no longer works for you with the dry desert here. Bottom of the deck, beautiful, two of cups. What a great way to end this reading. Definitely a, a partnership here of some sort, something long lasting, beautiful. There's someone here who wants to help you, who wants to love you and start something new with you. That's what I'm seeing here. And I feel like this person is going to make you very happy with the sun. It's a beautiful reading, Virgo. Thank you so much for checking it out. Um, if it resonated with you, please let me know down in the comments what this situation is all about. If it didn't resonate with you, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Check out your other placements. They might resonate more. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in my next video.